Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on Cinderwood City uh, Pokemon Gym, the used fighting to Pokemon there. And we beat Chuck, we got the Storm Badge, we got the HM02 Fly from Chuck's wife. After we beat him, we got the Storm Badge. It wasn't that hard, you know, we got really lucky with the critical hit on the Razor Leaf with, on a Razor Leaf to faint his, uh, Polywrath in one hit. And then as, uh, I think it took him, to, it took, uh, Megany and my Megan to do, to use two Body Slams to faint his Primate. So it wasn't really that hard to be honest. So I have Sanders at front, as you can see, right here. Yeah, there we go, awesome. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna take on Jasmine. We also um delivered the secret medicine back to uh, J Jasmine uh, in the White House. And we started the episode off with getting the secret potion from the pharmacy in Cinderwood from this one guy that had cool sunglasses. And then also we caught we uh, got a cool free Shuckle named nicknamed Shucky. I mean, it's really good in multiplayer mode because it has such high defenses, and you can use it like it's like a tank to stall. But like in single player mode, it's really bad. But multiplayer mode, it's like decent and good, I guess you could say. I've never used it in multiplayer mode, but you know, whatever. I'll take I'll take people's word for it. Let's talk to Jasmine here. Okay, thank you for your help at the White House. But it's diff. But this is a different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a waiter, gym, a gym waiter. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It was the, uh, It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may we, I begin? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's begin. Yeah. So yeah, th th like the trainers in the White House was the gym trainers, honestly. You know, if you think about it. So like, we get to battle her autom automatically. Like I told you in Pokemon Stadium Two, in Gym Waiter's Castle, we can actually just battle her right away without having to battle anyone before her. So that's pretty cool. Where Jasmine has two Pokemon, she wants to battle. Cool. She sent out Magnemite. Cool. So yeah, this Magnemite's level 30 in genderless. Okay, let's go for the Mud Slap, see how much it does. We're one level higher than it, so that's cool, I guess. We want to care, awesome. Nice. It's four times weak to um, ground type moves because it's steel and it's electric type. So now steel because it's steel and ground type, so. It's only half, it's only half super effective against uh, a st the Steelix, I guess, yeah. Let's see how much just, let's see how much a uh, Mutsup would do, just out of curiosity. Okay, the Steelix is level 35, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna lower its accuracy though, that's, that's good. Okay, Iron Tail, yeah. Let's definitely keep on just lowering its accuracy. That way Iron Tail doesn't really hit that well. Because Iron Tail is like an accuracy of 70. So yeah. Iron Tail again, yeah, that could be missed. Let's keep on lowering its accuracy. I tell missed again, awesome. I tell missed again, awesome. I'm liking this. I am liking this. Yeah. I think one more um one more mud slap and I should I should be able to use Sand I'm gonna tell the I'm gonna tell Sanders to use dig after that. Yeah, okay, this should be good. Iron Tail keeps on missing, awesome. And Iron Tail should miss with the, um, with the Sanders under the ground, awesome. So yeah, we're in good shape right now. Who knew Mudsup could be a, such a useful move in this gym battle? And that's true, because I can lower uh, Steelix's accuracy. Okay, yeah, dig hits, awesome. I think he took it out, awesome. That was awesome, nice. Okay, cool. And then she has one more Magnemite, that's also level 30, I think. So her big thing is her Steelix, that's level 35. Yeah. Let's go for the, let's go for the Mud Slap, hopefully we can finish it off one hit, just like the first one. Once the first one was just luck with it being one kill. Nope, I'm right. Cool, awesome. So he went for an epic Sand Slash sweep right there. Weird Jasmine was defeated, awesome. You're a bit be you're a better trainer than me. In both skill and kindness, okay, yeah. I, in accordance with the league rules, I uh, accord, uh, confer with, upon you this badge. Thanks for the 3,500 puppet dollars, man. Jasmine. We get the mineral badge from Jasmine, awesome. Okay, yeah. Um, please take this too. TM23, which is Iron Tail, which I won't teach the name of Pokemon because it has such bad accuracy, to be honest, you know? You can use that TM to teach Iron Tail. And that's all she says, okay, cool. Suck to that vice giver then. Uh, that was awesome. The steel Pokemon, the steel type, huh? Uh, that was a close encounter of an unknown kind. Cool. And then all city Pokemon Gym leader Jasmine, winning trainer Steep, and awesome. So yeah, I don't even think we have to heal our Pokemon really. We can heal them back when we get to Ecotique City though. But um, I want to actually give um 
my one other berry to uh because I got a berry from the shuckle that I um took I took the berry from it. I must see if one berry will heal the um, milk tank actually. I could be wrong, but let's hope that I can only that I heal the milk tank I guess. Okay. Milk tank moo. Give him a yeah, give a berry milk tank, yes. Oh man, it's gonna take more than just one more, dang it. Okay, whatever. I might I might do this later. I don't even think you get a good item for doing that, for healing up the milk tank with the berries. But I could be wrong. It's a mint berry. Wait, that means that um that means that uh the berries on the other trees will grow back too. Interesting. Let me see here. I think this is a regular berry tree up here. Yeah. I have to go all the way back around. I'm gonna just cut to where we get to that. Cool, we get another berry. Awesome. Okay, this eradicate just uh, came here as a wild encounter, and then, yeah, same just good level 32 basically right there. Okay, moment of truth. Well, two berries after five. Well, seven berries basically would be enough to cure this thing. Uh, to make it feel better at least. Yeah. Give a berry to milk tank. Yay. We think of being totally healthy. Awesome. Moo. His moo is a lot better sounding, I guess. Okay, yeah. We're feeding Moo Moo. <laughs> moo Moo is the nickname, I guess. What if, we, what if we go to next door then now? How would you like uh, my Moo Moo? Okay, Pride and Joy here. Give the Pokemon to switch HP. I'll give. Yeah, we might want to buy a couple of these actually. Wait, can I not buy any more because I accidentally pressed 1? A too fast? What the heck? Oh man, that sucks. I only... I meant to use buy more of those. Oh man, that sucks. TM13, is that Ice Beam? Oh, it's Snow, okay, whatever. I was just say, like, did you just give me Ice Beam or something? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm bummed that I couldn't buy more milk. What the heck? Why can't I buy more milk? Moomoo milk. Maybe it's like every day you can do it or something. I don't even know. That's that's a bummer because I didn't mean to press A so fast. Hi, hi, hi. I'm gonna cut back to Critique City. Actually, I'm just gonna fly there. It'd be easier. <laughs> Easiest pie. So fly to Critique City. I'm gonna heal up the Pokemon Center real quick. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so now, uh, what you have to do to advance the game is go just go east of, um, uh, Mahogany, uh, not Mahogany Town, but, uh, Akutik City. I'm not gonna go through the cave, though, because I don't think that's needed. But you can just use Surf right here, so I'm gonna use Surf right here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's Suicune again. I should, um, should actually quickly go get someone out of the PC to that nose cut like Paris exactly. Because Paris knows cut. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, now I'm back with uh, Paris. You can use cut here. So yeah, let's just let's just cut down the tree right here. And look, there's Suicune. You just hopped over some trees, I guess. And it goes all the way. Okay, so I think there's more Apricorns. Pink Apricorn. Which I think maybe, maybe, I think it's like a Love Ball or something like that. I don't remember. And then let's see, uh... A green apricorn, I don't know what that what kind of apricorn that makes though. What kind of ball that makes from the apricorn. And then uh let's see here, yellow apricorn. So I'm gonna put all these apricorns in my PC and get um uh, and get um blaze back out of the PC and we uh, and deposit um Paris real quick. So I'll be right back you guys. Okay, so with all that done we can finally move on to the next route, which is um cool. Here's a super potion, very worth picking up okay, we're gonna have to just surf again here. So that's fine. I'm fine with that. Talk to you. Um, let me demonstrate the power of Pokemon, the Pokemon I caught. Cool. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, Fisher Tolly. I sent out cool fish. Okay, cool. Let's go for the um, headbutt. So we we'll half. Awesome. Let's just tackle on Mystic. Okay. Let's go for another headbutt, I guess. There we go, nice. There we go, that was easy. 
What? That's not right. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 720 Poké Dollars. Here's another train right here. I think this is like a Pokemaniac. Hey, this is a secret place. Get lost, you outsider. You can't make me get lost. It's not very nice. Here's Pokemaniac. He has two Pokemon, apparently. One's a Nidorina. Okay. Level 16, or yeah, I think it's level 16, yeah. So I'm totally misreading that. Juice head bonus thing. I'll uh, put almost 20k at Austin. No, double kicks would be super effective. Okay, it doesn't do too much, but still, it's super effective. Okay, yeah. Let's go for the quick attack to finish it off. Get a Reno, okay. This thing probably has double kick too, jeez. Let's go for the headbutt. Hopefully we can make it flinch or something, that'd be, that'd be nice. I want to kill awesome. Yeah, because that makes sense because Nidorina is more defensive and Nidorina is more offensive. So like that's why Nidorina was able to hang on for another turn. I should have used the, my Moonstone. <laughs> okay, thanks for the 160 Poké Dollars. Here's a hiker, dude. So yeah. Oh, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm glad you're happy. Here's Hiker Benjamin. Sent out Diglett, nice. Stiglet's level 14, nice. Let's go to, let's use Headbutt on this thing. When it KO, awesome, I'll take it. I'll, I'll do the switcher trick, but I'm gonna keep Mist again to do it so I can get experience. Let's go to, um, let's go to, um, I guess we can go to Blaze. Rock though, that's gonna be super effective. But that's okay. Blaze can take it like a man. <laughs> like a woman, I guess. So yeah, let's go for the Ember. I was gonna go for Bite, actually. But Ember could work it too, I guess. Ember 1-E-K, I was like, wow, okay. It's only level 14, by the way, too. Okay, whatever. Dog Trio, okay. We'll switch back to uh, Mystic then. This actually has level 16 of male. That's good for it, I guess. Let's go for the headbutt on this thing. There we go, awesome, when I kill. 520th experience, awesome. A government Benjamin is defeated. Ah, thanks for 500 total Poké Dollars. You said, like, ah, or something like that. Here's Mahogany Town. So I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I went I was silent there for a long time, but yeah. Okay, um, we're gonna make our way up north because the gym is blocked, I think. So yeah, we have to go up north apparently. Here's a trainer. Let's take him on. Uh, I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. This is what you said. If I miss, if I misread that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I misread that. Okay, here's Kemper Spencer. Cool, Sandshrew, nice. Because Sandshrew's level 17. So, uh, Mystic is, um, overall is higher than it. Awesome. Let's go for the headbutt. Let's see here, how much will this do? Put in the red health. Awesome. We're just gonna sand attack then. I'm not sand attack, but quick attack. You just sand attack on Mystic though, which kinda stinks. Quick attack still hits though. Awesome. There we go. Let's take a level of 29. Awesome. Do sand slash. We'll keep. We'll stay in with Mystic, I guess. Let's go for the headbutt. Headbutt still hits. Awesome. It's, the sand slash is level 17 in male. So that's good. Oh, it flinched. Awesome. Let's go for another headbutt then. Awesome. This is awesome. Things are going our way, apparently. There's only one Pokemon. Which is a Zubat. Okay, we'll stay in. Okay, again, we're just gonna use Headbutt on this thing, or I'm gonna tell Mystic, I'm gonna tell Mystic to use Headbutt. Oh, that time it missed. It's kinda due for that, Miss, but that's okay. So, which life does only need 2 HP, so that's not that bad, I guess. Headbutt hits this time. So, this thing's level 19 in male. That goes down with it. Awesome. 
Camper Spencer was defeated. Cool. Listening isn't fun at all. <laughs> Sorry, man. I think if you go through there, the two market will actually force you to pay them. So you don't want to go through there. You want to actually go through the tall grass for once. I know. If you unless you want to pay them every time you go through there, I think it's every time you go through there they'll take money from you. So we're going to go with the tall grass, you know. Here's another trainer. Here's a picnic. It looks like. Are you going to the Lake of Bridge too? I am actually headed that way. Cool. Let's play for a little while. We mean battle? Sure, we'll battle, but I'm on a tight schedule. I gotta get to the Lake of Rage. Okay, oh, so this is Picnicker Tiffany. She has one Pokemon. It is a Clefairy. Cool. Nice, it's level 20 and female. Cool. Please don't have please don't have attract or anything like that. Jeez. I probably just jinxed it there, but still. We're Mystic is nine levels higher than this thing, so that's awesome. So you guys minimize. This is gonna make it harder to hit it, apparently. Okay, yeah, fine. Let's go for the quick attack. Quick attack misses, of course. Okay, yeah, okay. I can keep. I can just. Yeah, Mystic's fine when she's using quick attack over and over and over. Whatever. There we go. Nice. The Clefairy goes down. Picnic Tiff Tiffany was defeated. Awesome. I haven't let Mystic fan at all yet, so like I'm hoping that's happiness is so close to being enough to where it evolves into Espeon. I've only been training it in the morning, really. So yeah. Hopefully it wasn't an Espeon soon, like in the early 30s, I'm hoping. Hey, do you have some any rare Pokemon? Yes, I do. I have, um, I have an Eevee, for one. That's pretty cool. I have a, I have a Meganium, which is pretty rare, because there's only one in the game, apparently. So yeah, there's a Lickitung. Awesome. It's level 19 male. So let's go with the, um, let's go with Headbutt, I guess. Yeah, it's, we shouldn't be able to take this thing out. We're, Mystic is 10 levels higher than this thing, so that's good. Oh, it flinched awesome. She's using the headbutt then. Awesome sauce. Nice, okay. Pokemon Egg Brent was defeated. Cool. Oh, my poor Pokemon darlings. <laughs> Thanks for the 1140 Pokedollars. Okay, I think we're bound to get a wild counter soon. There we go. I jinxed it though. Okay, that was Eradicate, so that's pretty cool. Here's um, a trainer right here. Would you get this? Um, some some smat guy made fun of my Pokemon. Who is smat? Oh, dang it, come on smat. My Pokemon's great. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. Something like that. Smat's a boy, honestly. Jeez. So uh, what's so funny about your Pokemon? Oh, no, that looks cool. A Needle King looks cool, honestly. I, I don't know what smat's talking about. He's just a crazy person. Whatever, smat. So this Neo King's level 19 and male. So yeah, it does about one half for the um for the uh, for the headbutt. It does no double kick, which kinda sucks. It only hits twice, that's good. Like it's supposed to because it's a double kick, not triple kick. Jeez. So there you go, the Neo King goes down. And then Mystic is now level 30. Awesome. Just gonna try to invite, awesome. Can't wait more than for moves. Then what I'm doing coming from bite, yes, okay. Let's get rid of um let's get rid of tackle, honestly. One, two, and poof. Mystic forgot tackle. And Mystic got and bite. Cool. Pokemon ground was defeated. Cool. My Nerd King did pretty right on. Yeah, it kinda did. But thanks for the um, 1,104 Poke Dollars. Here's another trainer right here. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I keep on collecting Pokemon. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm proud of you, man. You mean that barely know you? Thanks for, okay, this is Pokemaniac Ben. He sent out slow, bro, okay. So, I'm gonna see how much a bite does on this thing. On the slow, bro. Let's see here, um, bite, yeah. It's gonna be super effective, I know that. Does about one third, okay, cool. Let's get his water gun on Mystic, okay. Let's get another bite attack. I think, I think, okay, I was just another bite just to make sure it flinched awesome. I was gonna use a quick attack there, but like, I wanna make sure it fainted it. So that's why I chose, that's why I chose, uh, that's why I told Mystic to use bite three times in a row. Yeah, how could you do this to me? I'm sorry, man. Thanks for 1,440 Poké Dollars. Is any trainers down here? I think there might be. Okay, that was a Pidgeotto. Oh my goodness. 
That last one was a far-fetched. Okay, he's a fisherman, it looks like. I'm, I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Okay, cool. I think if you go further down this way, you have to use cut to get through the pier and stuff. And I think the item is kind of worth getting, but I can't remember what it was. Here's a magic orb, of course. It's level 10. Let's just see if we can faint it with a quick attack, honestly. I think we can, because, you know, Mystic's 20 levels higher than this thing, yeah. It, it didn't have a chance, to be honest. Oh, Gyarados, dude, that's a change of pace. Gyarados is more, you know, uh, crazy. Okay, this one's level 10 too, so I think a void deck would faint it. Yeah, there we go, nice. Still gives 457 experience, wow. <laughs> that's funny. This Magikarp is level 15, so I'm gonna use Shadow Ball on it. Hopefully it'll knock it out. Awesome, it did. Do you have another Gyarados? Do you have two Gyarados and a... Yeah, you have two Gyarados and two Magikarp. Interesting. She's just headbound this thing. This Gyarados is level 15 in male. There we go, nice. What the heck, it didn't faint it? Shoot. Let's go for the quick attack then to faint it. Quick. There we go, nice. Fisherman Marvin was defeated. Cool. Okay. I'm not gonna go this way because like that just leads to the point where you have to just cut to get through it and stuff. It's not really fun. Water counter. That was a ferret. I think we made it to the Lake of Rage now. Yeah. Okay. Is there an item on the far right? There's a Red Gyarados, by the way, in the water over there. But we'll catch it on the next part, I guess. Yeah. Wait, is he, are you a trainer? Alright, this. Okay, it's rampaging with the Gyarados. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm more of that, actually. No, I don't want to head, but this tree. Dang it. Is there a thing over there? Hmm. I'm gonna fly back to Mahogany Town, but in the next part we'll take on, uh, I'm, I'll be right in front of the, I'll be right in front of the lake, and then we'll take on, uh, Gyarados and hopefully catch it. It's a shiny Gyarados, which would be cool, because it's ready Gyarados. So yeah, so, uh, this has been Jaiko again. I would like them to say goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> there we go. wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm sorry, I'm flying back to Mahogany Town. Walkthrough Guide.